Does your cyber power UPS sound like this? Learn how to replace the battery in less than five minutes right after this. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing a replacement battery for my cyber power rack mount UPS that I have in the basement. About seven years ago when I bought this house, I wanted to be able to have some backup power in the basement for some networking devices that I had there. Just so happens I also installed a quarter rack in the basement to be able to mount everything to, so it was a nice clean install. So seven years has gone by, a lot of power outages, a lot of storms have gone through where I live, and the power got knocked out a lot. The most recent year, so this is going to be 2024, there has been just a ton of storms that have been happening. And because of which, it's been going out a lot. Well, one morning I woke up and all I heard was this buzzing in the basement. And it happened to be the UPS freaking out because it had no more battery capacity and it had a load on it. And it was telling me that it wouldn't be able to survive any more power outages. So here I went onto amazon.com and I found this replacement battery and I said it's worth a shot. A brand new cyber power is about $200. This battery replacement's about $73. I got seven years out of the last one. So I felt that it's worth a gamble to be able to replace the battery and keep the unit because I've had zero problems with this unit. So I decided to do that. Um, it worked really well. You'll see kind of how I installed it, how quick it is. In less than five minutes, you'll get it installed. And I'll give it a rating after um, I get everything installed. So let's just dive in. The first step in the process, pretty obvious. Power down the UPS by holding down the power button. Unplug all the devices and the UPS from the wall. The next thing is take the front face plate off. There are two clips on one side and one clip on the other side. Then you're going to proceed to taking off all the screws off the protection plate. There are two on the left hand side and there's one on the right hand side. I didn't notice the one on the right hand side right away and you'll see me actually unscrew it now uh, from the device. Once the protection plate is off, you want to disconnect the battery from the inside, uh, starting with the red connector first, then the black connector second. There's one additional screw after the protection plate is off on the left hand side, so you'll want to remove that to be able to pull out the entire tray of uh, the battery. So you'll see it out. I'll take the replacement tray, put it in, and then you connect them back. Now you want to connect the black connector first and then the red connector uh, when you're putting it together. Uh, you'll notice that uh, at first it doesn't really work. So what you'll want to do is you want to wiggle the connectors a little bit to be able to get them to uh, work nicely and then push the wires in a little bit. Then you just reverse the steps. You want to screw that one screw on the left hand side to be able to get the tray in securely. Then take the protection plate and uh, replace the screws with the protection plate. I found it easier to use the right one first to be able to hold that screw in place as you're screwing it in and then screw in those two left ones or two left screws uh, and once you're done with that you just pop the cyber power plate back on, uh, power on the device and you'll see that everything's happy with 120 volts. All right, so what is my review on this replacement battery? Um, it was a super quick install on the cyber power device. Um, it really took about five minutes to install once I realized that I could just pull off the front and everything was uh, super easy to get to. Um, I plugged it back in the wall. I could unplug it from the wall. It holds a charge. Uh, the battery charged to 100%. There's 100% battery capacity, completely compatible. And it saved me a lot of money by just replacing the battery and not the whole unit. Um, so I would give it an absolute five stars. Totally worth the money. It saved me a ton of money. Um, if you are interested in the UPS or the replacement battery, check the description below the video. Um, I have uh, affiliate links for all of the products that I use. Uh, it helps kind of grow my channel, gives me incentive to keep going and keep building new content. So uh, once again, uh, five stars, awesome, totally recommend it. Thanks for watching. I'm always interested in hearing your opinion, so drop a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tangents on cars, products, and more. Thanks again for watching.